We're not the kind of folks that buy knockoffs. There's no point. One glance at us and anyone can clearly see we are not Rolex people. But there is one knockoff coming that we might buy. Although the word knockoff sounds a little harsh, let's call it a tribute. In 2015, Jaguar Land Rover, JLR, ended production of the Land Rover Defender. Now, we couldn't afford one either new or used, so while many lamented its demise, we shrugged it off. We walked past a 1997 Defender 110 recently, which was on sale for a cool $57,000. Sir Jim Radcliffe felt differently. The British petrochemical billionaire tried to buy the rights and the tooling from JLR, but they declined his offer. While he was taking the sting out of JLR's refusal with a few mates in the Grenadier pub, they talked about what they really wanted in a new off-roader, an affordable, utilitarian, easy to repair and maintain vehicle. Does this sound like a discussion that maybe you've had with your buddies? With the essentials clearly mapped out on a napkin, Radcliffe started to plan, and the result of this hops fired brainstorm was recently unveiled in the UK. It resembles a Defender so much that JLR attempted to block its development in court and lost. The design is completely new, a completely new 4x4 from the ground up. The company is called Ineos, and the truck is the Grenadier, named after the UK pub where the idea fermented. We believe that the name has a deeper meaning than this, as a Grenadier was originally a specialized soldier in the mid-17th century who lobbed grenades. Chosen from the largest and strongest men, these physically powerful soldiers led assaults against the enemy. Now, Although the body style is similar to the Defender, the team has taken design and performance cues from many iconic 4x4s, including the Willis, Mercedes G-Wagon, Ford Bronco, and Toyota Land Cruiser, and incorporated modern materials and design features. The boxy body, round headlights, upright windshield are kind of old school, but the LED headlights, composite bumpers, and racks are definitely not. The engineers have it here to a form follows function philosophy. Everything you need and nothing that you don't. Essentials like all-terrain tires, tow hooks, and skid plates are apparent, as well as good approach and departure angles. Now they're all a result of the effective ride height, the short bumpers, and the wheels that are close to the ends of the body. We like the tie-down points on the roof and that the exterior door hinges suggest they will be removable. Out back, the spare tire is mounted on the large passenger side barn door and a ladder is mounted to the smaller left door so you can access the roof. Dual exhausts are visible and are located tight underneath the body, sandwiching the rear skid plate so they don't get crushed while off-roading. This is a solid boxed ladder frame body-on frame SUV. Ineos promises high articulation and durability with progressive coil sprung solid live axles front and rear and are also designing the Grenadier to tow since its intended purpose is also for farm use. It will initially be offered with the B57 and B58 3 liter turbocharged inline sixes from BMW in diesel and gas from roughly 265 to 400 horsepower. It's Berman 4x4. There's not many manufacturers doing that. Most of them choose to go for a permanent rear-wheel drive and then have the user select the 4x4. Um, While BMW is supplying the power, the engineers of Magna in Austria, a division of Magna International based right here in Canada, are designing the suspension system. CEO Dirk Heilman has hinted that a full EV model will not be coming but a hydrogen fuel cell hybrid is on the drawing board. They haven't revealed any images of the interior yet, but they've said it will be more comfortable than the original utilitarian vehicles of the lineage. And that won't be hard to achieve. In addition to the SUV, they've designed a double cab pickup truck that looks absolutely stellar. The bed looks to be too short to be of use in a typical North American fashion, but by maintaining that short wheelbase, it should be massively capable off-road. No horsepower, torque, payload, or towing estimates have been released, and neither have the approach, departure, breakover angles, or the exact dimensions. 
Ineos was targeting to log 1.8 million harsh kilometers on production test models in the spring of 2021, with production models expected to roll into driveways at the end of 2021. This could be the tough, functional, utilitarian off-roader North Americans have been looking for. Initially, it will only be available in the UK in its right-hand drive configuration, starting at the end of 2021. But given the size of the international markets, a left-hand drive model is sure to land on our shores with an impact like the original Grenadiers. Retail pricing hasn't been announced either, but rumor has it the Grenadier will be in the neighborhood of 40,000 pounds sterling, which is about 68,000 Canadian. If they can get the price down to around 55 or 60,000, and if the promises are delivered, we'd buy this knockoff. If you saw this on the dealer lot, would you take it for a spin? Or are you more likely to drive the new Bronco, Wrangler, or something else? If you enjoyed this video, share it. Smash that like button. And if you want to see more, please subscribe and ring that bell so you're the first to know when a new video comes out. Until next time, stay safe, and we'll see you on the trails.